Today, we are throwing three product research tools in the fighting pit to see who emerges victorious. I'm going to show you a couple of things you likely don't know about each. Also, how do they actually get to their sales estimates and how accurate are they really? The six areas of eval are accuracy, feature stack, data on the results page, browser extension, data on the product detail page, and price. Since the sponsor of this video is yours truly, I will share the best plan to choose on any of these using my magical links that will save you money. Smash like, subscribe to keep this channel afloat, and let's begin with the only one you care about. Accuracy. When you're researching products, one of the most critical pieces of info you need is the sales estimates. That is, how well does this product sell? Is there enough demand and is it even worth my attention? You've probably seen these sales estimates numbers from all of these tools, but just how accurate are these? For this test, I need a baseline. So I found one of my products which has a fluctuating sales history over the past few months. Since I know the actual number of units sold, this is a good baseline. And the units sold per month for the past few months were 278, 204, 200, and 116 respectively. The average sales over those four is 200 units per month. 116 units being the immediate prior month leading up to today. I made this confusing table for you. Searching my product using these tools, here's what I got. Jungle Scout gave an estimate of 117 sales, meaning it's 99.1% accurate based on the last month alone. And it overestimates by just 0.9%. It is 41.5% below the 200 unit average. That's because it's specifically looking at the last month. So this tool is insanely accurate. If you want a snapshot picture of exactly how a product is selling at this moment. AMZ Scout on the other hand gave 115 sales, so it works very similarly to Jungle Scout, but here it underestimated by 0.9% and again is 99.1% accurate based on the last month alone. With Helium 10 though, things start to change here. This gave an estimate of 195 sales. So this one works very differently to Jungle Scout or AMZ Scout. Now if you just look at the past month alone, it is 66% off, but it is 97% 0.6% accurate based on the four month average of the four months included. So this tool is not the best if you're looking for an immediate snapshot of the past 30 days, but it is the best if you're looking for on average, how does this product sell every month? That also means it's the least susceptible to over or under estimations based on the last month alone. So let's compare their estimates on the four products most suited to this type of test. Bartender Kit, Interactive Dog Ball, Power Tool Rack, Pantry Organizer. For product one being the Bartender Kit, here are the sales estimates each tool gave. For the Interactive Dog Ball, for the Power Tool Rack, and for the Pantry Organizer. We see a similar trend here, AMZ Scout giving slightly more conservative estimates than Jungle Scout, but both of those being based on the past month. The actual sales number probably sits between these two, but we have a 15% difference between these. AMZ Scout a bit lower, Jungle Scout a bit higher. Helium 10 is tracking completely differently, and again that's because we know this is not using just the last month of sales. But if you've been wondering why are these numbers so different, Helium 10, Jungle Scout, etc., this is why. If you just want ultimate accuracy, of course the best is to have Helium 10 with the average and then either Jungle Scout or AMC Scout with the immediate snapshot based on the last month. In addition to all the features you find on their web app, each is going to come with at least one, hopefully one, browser extension. Once you install that, you can use this on Amazon itself. And since this is where you're actually going to be spending the majority of your time, I want to hone in on this and compare each. Firstly, I want to look at data displayed on the results page, starting with Jungle Scout. One of my favorite features of Jungle Scout's extension is this on-page data block. And they were actually the first to do this. It's going to provide this data on the front of listings. That means you don't even need to open the extension in order to gain that data. It reduces a step and it makes a huge difference over time in your research. Personally, I also love that only the sales estimate in the box is orange. That makes it really easy to spot. And then I can, for example, put review counts against sales numbers. So how does AMZ Scout do this? Similarly, this one is also going to provide you an on-page data block via AMZ Scout's quick view. 
browser extension. Do you keep track of these extensions with AMZ Scout because they have a few. Quick View again will save you a lot of time and it has these color coded areas. Although I personally like the minimal look of the Jungle Scout one more, AMZ Scout's one is more consistent, especially in providing the measurement and fee data within here. Occasionally Jungle Scouts will just not have the data there for some reason. And what about Helium 10? This one provides a more limited data block, but it's above the results. It lacks the sales estimate, which is a real downside for me, but it does provide useful info. And this quick drop down allows you to take further action on that selected product. Clicking the flag allows you to instantly save that product to your product list in the web app. Personally on this aspect, I think AMZ Scout Jungle Scout beat out Helium 10 because I value that data block being there with the sales estimate really quickly. And I'd say AMZ Scout just wins this one above Jungle Scout because of the consistency of the data in that block. The next section, browser extension. So let's compare each on opening and actually using the browser extension. Each has a quick button which you can use to open the extension without having to actually go up to the top right bar. Jungle Scout and Helium 10 on the right scroll bar and they're fully adjustable so you can move them up and down like this. AMZ Scout is at the bottom right and for some reason because it's there I hardly ever use it but it does provide you a niche score out of 10 for the niche you're currently looking at. But that said, personally, I put very little weight on these types of scores because there's so much more we as sellers can look at compared to a software. Personally, in terms of this quick button, I like the Jungle Scout one the most visually. It's also the least obtrusive when using it. Helium 10s expands quite a bit and then it seems to kind of stick for a while afterwards. But these are just minor gripes. But let's look at the extensions themselves, starting with Jungle Scout. Now, once we open this or any of the other extensions, we see data for all the results on the page behind. Now, Jungle Scout specifically has a neat, easy interface. You can expand this window to fit the screen if you want, or you can even resize it. You can customize the columns shown over here. And this one is also horizontally scrollable. I like that you can download a screenshot of the full thing and save it. This is useful if you want to check the same market in the future again. You can also do the same thing in CSV form across all of these extensions. On this one, you can easily add products to your web app with the plus icon. You can click the key icon and quickly run a reverse ASIN search and find the best keywords for a product in Keyword Scout. Or you can search for a supplier with the label icon. Biggest downside here, the columns are not drag and drop. I personally like to place review counts right next to sales estimates, but of course it's a bit more difficult in this one. You could of course delete some columns to achieve that same effect. And what about AMZ Scout? This one's a little busier, but it's also the most colorful interface. It is not horizontally scrollable, so you may need to delete some columns to enlarge the text. And you can do that with this button here. You can also resize the window and you can filter the results shown by your own parameters. In the top panel, you can also jump to different parts of their web app. Clicking the star next to any product allows you to save that to the web app. Clicking any product drops down additional options that you can then run for that specific product. Again, one of the big downsides for me is the lack of the drag and drop columns. One of the unique aspects of this one is the visibility score at the top. That shows you how many of AMC Scouts users have actually found that specific niche, which can help you gauge competition or soon to be saturated markets. And finally, Helium 10. Helium 10, also a very clean feel, expandable and horizontally scrollable. Clicking this, you can make it full screen as well. At the top, it shows you the keyword for that market you're on and the estimate search volume for that keyword on Amazon per month. Again, you can customize columns here, but most of all, on this one, you can simply drag and drop the columns and place them where you wish. For me, this is a huge plus. You can click the pin next to any product to save it to your list in their web app. You can also select any product by clicking the box next to it. And then you can run, for example, Cerebro keyword research or use the listing analyzer on that product. Overall on this one, personally, I would have to give the win to Helium 10 because of those drag and drop columns. The next section we're going to look at here is data on the product detail page. Now Jungle Scout provides this box at the very top and it does take some getting used to because it loads each time you come into the listing. It's going to reiterate last month's sales and then using the trend section, you can even look at this product sales history over the past two years. That negates any recency effect of the sales estimate 
based on the last month alone. So this is a big plus for Jungle Scout here. Or using details, you can see everything about this product without having to actually scroll down to the product info section on this listing. In terms of AMZ Scout here, they offer another browser extension, which is called Amazon Dropshipping Arbitrage and Wholesale. And this populates like this on listings. Even for private label, I find this very useful because it's this easy area to calculate potential profit margins. But you can also click find a supplier on Alibaba. It's immediately going to take you to Alibaba and run an image search to find suppliers of this specific product. It's also going to give you a full BSR history if you hover over this. But my only gripe here is that it kind of automatically opens opens this page when you scroll over this area in general, but making that clickable would be a huge plus. Lastly, looking at Helium 10 here, I think their tools are best placed on the listing, just in my opinion. I also have multiple installed here, so it could be affecting the placement. But the first box is right above the images, showing various aspects, but importantly, the sales estimate is shown here again. One gripe here is that I have found the appearance of this number to be a little inconsistent. Sometimes it just doesn't populate, but clicking more, you can take other actions, even run a quick x-ray keyword search for this product. And below the images, Helium 10 again has an area here which shows you the rank and price of the product up until all time. You can also click to any part of their web app here to analyze this product even further. Below here, you can run a quick and easy profit calculation, either for FBM or FBA. Personally, I'm putting Jungle Scout in first place here because of the monthly and daily sales trends that you can view at the top. But in terms of the extension overall, firstly, for the data on the results page, I'd say AMZ Scout has to win with their consistent data block. For the extension itself, I have to give it to Helium 10 with their drag and drop columns. And for data on the listing itself, the win is going to Jungle Scout. So if I made your decision easier so far, smash like. Feature stack. If you sign up for any of these three, you get a lot more than just product research tools. And you're really going to have to look through these and decide what features are most valuable to you. Although I'm not going to focus on this, one of the things all of these come with is a product research database. This can be found within their web app or website. They all work really similarly, though. You're going to drop in your criteria points, click search, and they're going to present you with potential product ideas. In addition to that, each has a whole host of other features. I'm not going to cover in detail here. I am going to present those to you and you can pause and have a good look at that point. Let's begin with Jungle Scout. Now, based on the plan, I would recommend it includes all of these features. AMZ Scout. Again, based on the plan I'd recommend, it includes all of these features. Helium 10. The plan I'd recommend will include all of these features. And in addition to Amazon, this all works for Walmart too. But that brings us to the final section. Pricing. Jungle Scout. You can see the pricing here if you pay monthly or yearly. But if you use my link below, you can save between 25 and 35% on this tool. That will give you these options. And in my opinion, the most cost effective bundle is going to be the Sweet Plus plan. My link is going to give you this one for a year for $449. That is $37.42 per month. Next, AMZ Scout. You can again save on this one using my link below, but the most cost effective bundle is going to be the annual AMZ Scout bundle. This also gives you a free product idea researched by AMZ Scout. This one is going to be $32 per month. Last but not least, Helium 10. Using my link, the most cost effective bundles are either the monthly plan. This gives you a 20% discount for six months. That works out to $80 per month. And you want to use code DROGERS 6 m 20 for this one. Or even better, in my opinion, is to get the annual platinum plan with a 10% discount forever. That's going to work out to $76 per month. You want to use code ROGERS10 for this one. Now my recommendation for the optimal setup, if you can afford it, is to get Helium 10. It's going to give you all of their features in the web app, the drag and drop browser extension, the averaged out sales numbers over time, and then combine that with either 
AMC Scout or Jungle Scout, one of those, because that's going to give you that sales snapshot at this moment in time, plus the on-page data block with that sales estimate, which is going to speed up your research. Remember, you can gain those prices, at least currently, at the links right below this video. Those links also do support this channel, so thank you in advance if you do choose to use them. If you want to see a deeper dive into any one of these three tools, please comment the name of that tool below this video. Please drop a quick like on this if you found it useful, but I do hope this helped you find the right one for you, and I will catch you in the next video.